What's happening, YouTubeverse? It's your boy, Darkularity, and welcome back to Occupy Mars, where last time we did a big old adventure with our rover for the first time. And today, you know what? I'm super excited. Um, let me put my helmet on here. There we go. Get this guy all secured away so we can go outside here. Now, what I want to do today is because we came back with a bunch of building materials. Hello, beautiful rover. I want to work on some base stuff, but I think the responsible thing to do would be to set up some more power infrastructure. Um, I would love to set up more solar panels. Do we have the stuff for that on us right now? Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on, on solar, but I do want to at least double what we're currently doing as well as add more battery packs and that stuff. So let me grab some more supplies out of here because we have all of our solar cells in here. Uh, how are we looking? Let's grab a, another stack of steel plates, another stack of aluminum. Maybe we need pipes, so we'll grab some of those. Let's grab a bunch of motors. Let's grab some more electronics. And I think let's grab two more circuit boards in case we need them. And that should get us going for now. Now, so my plan with the solars, I don't want to keep them all bunched up together. I'd love to do just chunks of eight. So we've got these eight medium solar panels right here, right? And how much are these guys producing now? Still 36 power. Um, and our batteries were storing, I think, like 300 and something, no, 720, which has now gone up to 900 because of our upgrades in our tech tree. So the first thing I wanna do is increase the amount of battery packs or um, battery pack upgrades. Let's bring this up to the maximum. So we'll just weld all this up real quick. You know, hmm. I also was thinking, I don't know if I want that right there. You know what I mean? I would rather, let's keep that for there for now. I'd rather run cables and have the solar a little further away from our base, just in case. Actually, you know what, before we even, before we even do any of that, maybe we should figure, yeah, this guy here. Maybe we should set up a meteorite defense system just so we're not getting destroyed. Um, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. We need one medium circuit board. I have no idea how these work, so I'm just gonna place one down wherever. Just in case, I, I just had a thought, you know, what if something gets destroyed while we are, I mean, maybe we might need two of them. Hmm. Let's put these seeds in here for now and let's grab another circuit board. Okay. Now, how does this guy work? It says it only uses five power, so that's not a big deal, but it's gonna need rockets and stuff. Oh, it's actually huge. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna place it here temporarily because I wanna see how this works. Now, do we have to launch it, or is it automatic? That's another thing I'm, I'm curious about. Solid rocket A, okay. What do you mean? Does that mean I have to put rocket fuel into this? Doesn't seem like I can access it. Oh, maybe we need to hook it up to power first. Let's just run a cable from the, I guess the last one right here for now. And where do you get plugged into? I would actually like to have this on a separate network, which would be pretty easy to do. All right, uh, you need five power. Okay, let's do that. We gotta come over here and go to the last one and bump this up to five kilowatts. There we go. Okay, let me see. Ooh, state controls, so on, off, so, so it's on, okay. Capacity five, targets zero. Hmm. I mean, we could turn it off and turn it on when we need it. Where do we, do we have to put rocket fuel in here? How do, how do you, how do you work? Maybe we have to, okay, let's grab some rocket fuel. Am I gonna be able to get my rocket fuel back though? Hmm, that's a thing. Cause I don't wanna leave that there. I have no idea how this works. Okay, so we got three rocket fuel. Let's split it just to one for now. I think we can print more. I think, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's see if I can 
pop that out there. Yeah, I wasn't even planning on doing this, but you know what? I want to protect ourselves here. So do I just drop you in there? <laughs> I have no idea. Capacity is zero out of five. How do we... All right, let me pick that up. No. So it doesn't seem like I can just drop it in there. I want to know how this works. Because I didn't see any... I didn't see any blueprints for printing rockets or anything. Or anything in... Uh, where was that? It was under mechanics. We come through here. We got... Fire extinguisher, okay, cool. Detonator, that's pretty cool too. Meteor defense, yeah, right here. Rocket system to protect built structures from meteorites. We learn solid rocket A kit. Okay, so maybe we can craft those and I was just a blind idiot. Let's go see. Well, I might be an idiot, but I don't see anything in here for a solid rocket A kit. It did say we unlocked it, so let's uh, let's just search rocket. Now we just got rocket engines in here. Hold on, what is this? Decorations, whoa. I had no idea you could do that. Okay, still though, I don't see anything for the rocket. Um, I don't know, maybe in here? I mean, it has an inventory. Can we craft stuff in here? Inventory. Now we can store stuff in here. But there's no crafting in here. Where can I make my rockets? I want to shoot pew pews. I don't understand. Um, you know, maybe. Would it be here? I mean, I don't think so. I've never seen a crafting menu in here. Yeah, no, nothing there. Okay. Let's go back out to our rocket machine. Wait a second. How's our beetroot babies? 17%. You guys are 88%. Good. You just keep growing and doing your thing. I'm going to move you all to a greenhouse soon enough. Okay. What are your mysteries? Tell me how you work, please. Rocket defense machine. I want to know. Okay, maybe we just turn it off for now. And then maybe solid rocket A. <laughs> Do we make it? Maybe we make it in the blueprints. I don't know. Let's see here. You know what? Actually, let's have a look at the old knowledge base. Um, where would I figure it might be? Maybe under here, under tools? No, you're not there? Okay, all right, all right. What about under buildings? And this thing is the rocket defense something rather. Resources, mm, launch tower? No, that's probably for rocket, like spaceships, I mean. Keep going down here. Transformer, workshop, nothing, nothing. Um, all righty then. Well, under rockets here says the missile shield has been designed as a means to, of protection from meteor showers. The system automatically detects a meteor that poses a threat to your base and launches a missile in the, direct, in the correct direction. Astronauts only need to worry about providing the launcher with a supply of rockets. Otherwise, the machine won't be able to fulfill its role. The easiest way to control the state of ammunition is to check it from the control panel where you can find information about the power status, number of remaining rockets, and the number of meteors that have been shot down. But <laughs> it doesn't tell me where to make the rockets. It just tells me I need to make I need to provide it with a supply of rockets. But I, I honestly don't see them in the printer anywhere. So Maybe meteor defense isn't happening right now. You know, just to double check, I'm gonna check the printer one more time. I know it's silly, but I'm doing it. Well, I'm definitely not crazy. I don't see it here anywhere. So uh, yeah, slight detour. Oh, well, uh, I'm gonna grind that down. We are not going to proceed with that at the moment because I don't know, I don't know where to make the rockets. So let me clear out some of the stuff from the inventory here that we had. Circuit board, medium circuit board, we'll get rid of those. And uh, yeah, grind this down and then I'm going to get back on task. I just thought, I just wanted to defend our base a little bit, you know? The meteors, um, when I was out and about grinding last episode, like there was a meteor storm and I mean, if that hits here, we are doomed. Okay, so I'm thinking, let's get back on task to what we were doing here, back to the base improvements, starting with electricity. I'm thinking that I am gonna 
separate these slightly. So I'm going to keep them like in their line up here, which was here. But I want to, because I'm probably going to move those original four back as well too. So let's keep dragging this back here. I want a decent distance between these. Um, that should be good. And it's actually, I placed that one the wrong way. So let's go over here. Uh, why won't you let me place you there? What, what the problem is, bro? Come on. Oh, do I gotta go one more? There we go. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, right here. Let's rotate that. So I'm gonna place down another four solar panels here. Actually, I'm gonna place down another eight because I'm silly for even saying four in the first place. There we go. And then tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning here, I'm going to disconnect the original four we have because, um, you know, if I wanna put the garage where I want the garage, we're gonna need some room to drive in between all of this stuff. Did I, did I put one of these in the wrong place? Yes, I put you in the wrong place, come on. Also, we need to get rid of this one because I got to flip it around. There we go. Uh, I wish I could put like the blueprints on my toolbar. Um, actually, honestly, I've never even tried. Maybe you can. <laughs> okay, rotate you. There we go. And you. So you see what I'm what I'm talking about here when I say like I want to do them kind of in like cells. So we have like four here. Um, another four, which I think is going to be kind of further that way or maybe that way where it's flatter. And that way, if a meteor comes through, it's not gonna knock out our entire solar setup at once. We're gonna have them kind of more spread out. I like that idea. Okay, I'm gonna get these welded. All right, so what I have done here is I added another segment of solar panels back there and they're separated a little bit. And then I ran them into a new transformer network, which we have here and to our battery here. So now our total storage is 1575 kilowatt hours and then, wow it's charging very fast so that is fantastic um and then yeah i ran a cable over to here so we can disconnect this and i can grind these down and move them i would like to move this transformer setup at some point too but i'm not gonna move it just yet okay so that's swapped out to that i'm gonna grind down all of this stuff and move these solar panels then we can get on to uh some more activities um with the base stuff uh, I did a little bit of reading a second ago, too. Um, in order to build the rockets, we need to have the big rock crusher. So I'm thinking, ah, do I want to do that right now? What if we have a meteor storm, you know? I just, I don't know. I'm going to continue on the power thing here. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch that again. We've done a lot of power stuff, and uh, I'll show you kind of what I come up with here in a minute. Warning. Weather alert. Incoming solar storm. What in the heck is a solar storm? <laughs> what, what does that even mean? Oh, I mean, whatever it is, it can't be good. Is this gonna, like, gonna blow out all, our, all of our electronics? Uh, I don't know what that means. I've never seen a solar storm before, but at least it's not a meteor shower. Although, you know, a solar storm could be worse. So I'm just getting these hooked up to power here. Um, and as you can see, I'm doing them in kind of like uh, cells, I guess you could say, arrays of eight. So we got eight there, we got eight here. I'm just connecting these all up to power. I'm gonna need more cables here in a second. Um, but yeah, we are expanding our power situation significantly and uh, it's pretty far away from our base here. So I'm hoping, you know, by having things split up, if there is tornadoes and storms and, I mean, I don't know what we can do about solar storms, but meteor storms, you know, hopefully having things compartmentalized into separate arrays is going to at least, you know, the theory, uh, I need more cables again, darn it. But like I was saying, you know, compartmentalizing things into separate arrays, hopefully that adds a little bit of redundancy. Um, you know, if we have a storm failure on one thing, it's not going to cascade into all of our systems or, I mean, the meteors look pretty dangerous here. And let's go and inventory. No, that's not what I want. I want printing. We want uh, electrical cables right here let's do so that's what that's 200 which definitely is not enough let's do 500 because they're 10 per right um i guess let's do a thousand is that correct yeah it's gonna give us a thousand cables so we'll take that 
Um, yeah, Solar Storm. I don't know. I'm kind of scared about that. <laughs> What's it going to do? We got time. I'm going to finish wiring this up and um, doing some other stuff. I'll bring you guys back once the Solar Storm starts so we can experience that together. Okay, so we got the solar array set up. We're getting 576 kilowatt hours. And I'm sending all of that out of here um, to this next transformer over here. And then I'll figure out splitting it all up into proper, you know, ways after. We're not even using nearly the power we're producing. I'm also real quickly going to add the rest of the storage onto this one just to build up our power capacity here um, to the maximum that we can have. That way we can build a little more freely. Um, I think that's the last one that we can do. Let's try to add one more. Oh no, we can do one more. Okay, perfect. So we got two full battery arrays, which is, uh, which is great. Blueprints. Can we do another one? Nope. That's it. Okay. Actually, you know what? That other one I don't think is full. Um, yeah, 1912 is what I'm getting out of this one. Odd. It wouldn't let me place another one over here. I'm going to double check that. Blueprints, battery pack. Yeah, why won't it let me place this one? Is it too high? Is that the deal here? Come on. I mean, I guess we're at the maximum that we can do. I'm going to have to move this battery pack elsewhere. Oh, it's so annoying, honestly. And you know what else is really annoying? Placing freaking solar panels. I don't know. It frustrates me that I can't place them because the ground's all weird. Um, and the snap points don't work properly. I think uh, free placement would be a good option in this game. Then I don't have to worry about clipping it to the existing grid because that is kind of frustrating. I spent a long time trying to line those up. Originally, my second array of eight was going to go over here, but I couldn't put it there because nowhere could I find a place on this perfectly level and flat area that would allow me to place a solar panel. So <laughs> I don't really understand. Okay, next up, we are working on base stuff. And uh, I think... I th honestly think I'd like to get the garage sorted out first here. Um, so we're going to need to come off of here. Weather alert. Incoming solar storm. Okay, we got three hours till there's a solar storm. What does that do? I have no idea. I hope it doesn't fry like all of our batteries and stuff. I am going to be an upset cowboy. Okay, what do we have here? No, we don't need any of that stuff. Corridors would be important. So I think we go with... We got short, we got corridor with a window, we have normal. I say we go with a corridor with a window right here. Then we can go ahead and place a connector. So let's place a connector onto here. And then we can place another corridor with a window. Short with window. Okay, yep. Place that there. And then I'm thinking we can put the garage, uh, blueprints, garage right here. Oh, yes. Okay, let me see. Um, I want it to face the front this way. Man, I can't see anything. <laughs> like, like, how am I supposed to place this? I can't freaking see. Okay. Can we place you? All right, you're good there. Let's see, right, is that in line with it? No, right there. Uh, come on, give it to me. Is it the wrong way? No, that's the main door. I think that's where we want it to be, but it doesn't look like it's going to connect here. So, hold on, maybe I got to weld these up first. Let's weld up this stuff. Get all these welded up. Um, there we go. We got one more connector over here. Let's weld that up. Oh, I'm so excited to have a garage. Okay. I'm gonna well I'm gonna I'm gonna grind that down and we're gonna place it again. Also, how much power does that use? 10 power. That's not that much at all. Alright. I'm a little more and will you connect? No. Why? Okay, maybe I'll weld it up first. Do I have all the stuff? I think I'm going to need more concrete and stuff. Possibly. Oh, wow. I'm already out of pipe. Okay. Let's go grab some more pipes. And other materials so that we can get this done. Wow, this sticks out way further than I thought. This thing is friggin' huge. Wow, it actually fits perfect right beside that pod. We can leave that there behind and we will never need to know what's there. Oh, yes. Almost done. 
Just a few more concrete. Come on. Okay, Doki, here we go. We have a garage. Folks, we have a garage and it fits beautifully. I need to actually check the back to make sure it connected because um, that is going to be frustrating because if it doesn't connect, I don't understand why. <laughs> okay, it doesn't connect. Maybe we need to... <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, maybe we need another piece in there. Uh, blueprints. So I did the short, long. Maybe we need a normal in here. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Weather alert. Incoming solar storm. Okay, one hour till solar storm. Great. Normal with window. Why won't... <clears throat> I don't understand. Blueprints. Do I have like a medium one? So we got the short one. We got a connector. What if we do another connector? No. Why wouldn't you just clip on here in the first place? Honestly. Okay, I'm going to grind this down, I guess, and see if I can do it with a different connector piece. That took, that took like two minutes, honestly. Like that took forever. Warning. Solar radiation detected. Find shelter. Okay. Warning. Solar storm strikes. What does that even mean? Is it going to be like lightning? Oh, it's so beautiful though. Oh my gosh. It is. Look at this beautiful solar storm stuff. I love it. I want to take a screenshot of that. There we go. Take one of those. I don't know if it'll be the thumbnail or not. Actually, maybe we can get a beautiful thumbnail by going like, pra. Solar storm. I don't know if this will be the thumbnail, but it sure is pretty. I don't see anything dangerous happening here. Are we taking damage? That's not what I meant to do. No, we're not taking any damage. Sure is beautiful. It's getting real bright out here, though. And kind of green. I like it. Okay. I guess we can keep working. This doesn't seem super dangerous. Um, now, actually, what if I just go ahead and place a, like, long with window here? It's gonna, we're going to be sticking way out, though, by our solar setup. But that's okay. I just want to see if I can get this thing to connect. Okay, it does connect onto the long one. Good. Can you connect to, like, a normal with a window? Because I don't want you sticking out quite that far. Normal with window. There we go. Um, blueprints, garage. Are you going to stick on there now? No, it looks like it just doesn't want to stick onto there. So we're going to have to do a long one, I guess. That, uh, that's unfortunate. Actually, let me see. Could we go this way with it? Um, probably not because of the pod. Stupid pod. Oh, no, we wanted the long with the window. Uh, right here. Perfect. Let's give this a little rotate and snap it right onto there. And then we can snap our garage onto that one. Okay. I'm going to get this stuff welded up and then we can check with the garage. Well, it doesn't take as long welding it up as it does to grind it down, but it sure takes a little bit of time. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think the solar storm is pretty much done. Why are my plants withering? Why are my plants withering right now? Okay, let's go inside. I think we're not maybe passing enough power through or the solar storm drained our batteries or something crazy is happening. I don't even know. Let's see what the deal is here. Uh, yeah, we have enough power. Let's, uh, I guess pass through 300. Into there. How much power are we using, though? Why would my plants... They seem to be good now. Okay. We need to pass more power through this. Oh, no, we're, we're good. We're good where we're at. So we got 5, we got 11. Uh, I think we needed 15 on these. No. Those are just water wells. These ones are the ones that required 15, but that's too much. So let's lower that down to 17. Um, everything else, I guess, should be fine for now. Our plants seem to be okay. Oh, look at this garage. It's huge. We have tons of room. Can we open it from out here? No, we're going to have to open it in the base. Let's go in there and check it out. I want to see, see what it looks like. Let me in. 
I wonder if we can put our ATVs in there. Oh, our, our rover in there. Let's check our power. Make sure our situation's good here. So we are currently using 114 at nighttime. So why were my plants withering? I don't even understand that. I guess we can um, let's pick up these potato plants before we go any further and plant our beetroots. You guys are, wow, you guys are grow real slow. Let's see. Oh, we got another hallway. Uh, I'm going to drop our potatoes in here. Don't need those right now on us. Mm -hmm. And oh, look at this. We got hallways. Oh, 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 look how big the garage is. Oh my God. It's beautiful. What's this? What is in here? Gantry controller? Drag and drop a trailer you want to use on the heavy rover. Oxygen, 50%. Huh. So you can have multiple? Is that what it's telling me? What do we have here? So, yeah, we're good. So this kind of shows the same thing, but a little bit better. Device connected. In stock. Power won't be transferred to the fully charged vehicles. Okay, so we can just like park vehicles in here. I guess. I don't know. Let's see how this works. Let's open the door. Warning. Temp uh, are you going to open? Open. Open. Oh, I see. We got power outputs right here. Dude, why won't the door open? <laughs> Come on. Open for me. I uh, wonder if it's a bug. I can't seem to open my door. Oh, no. Sleep deprivation warning. Why would the power turn off? Did I do that somehow? Hold on a second. We're still bringing in 300. We have 1,892 in stock. Our plants are withering. What's going on? Where's the power going? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Um, let me get through here. Let's do the flashlight. Why? Why? What? What? What's going on, guys? Huh? Power. Detected. We're bringing 300. We still have a ton in stock. Why did the lights turn off? Okay. Power is working on all that stuff. We are bringing in 576 and putting out 432 to the transformer, which is here. We have more than enough power. Our battery pack is super stored up. There's some kind of bug that's happening because this should be powered. I might need to reload. Look, we have no lights in here. And we have no oxygen in here either. Actually, the oxygen probably drained because we opened a significant portion of our base. And our plants are withering. But our lights are on. We just don't have base lights on. I am so confused by what's happening right now that maybe the garage isn't going to be a thing. Uh, let me reload and see if that changes the situation. Okay, so I reloaded and things got extra weird for us. <laughs> like, what? what is happening? Oh, no. This is, see, nothing is good that's happening right now. I don't understand. The game is glitching out on me. I can't even walk around in my own base. What is happening? This freaking garage broke everything. The door's kind of open now, too. Oh, man. I might have to go reload an older save here because it seems broken. Let's, um... Oh. I don't know. Maybe I'll try reloading again, I guess. Oh, my goodness. Well, I reloaded again, and the, uh... Detected. Sleep deprivation the base is still broken. Okay, I get it. I'm thirsty. Um, guess we'll just use that one for now. Can I go out here? Yeah, that garage just broke like the whole base. Like connectors are invisible. No, everything looks good out here. Everything looks fine and dandy from out here. But everything's broken. I don't understand. I might... Um, I saw the last quick save that I have is from an hour ago. Um, night vision. Everything seems to be fine and dandy there. Our garage is slightly open still. Um, well, let's see if there's a control panel over here. 
if I can open it. I think I'm actually gonna have to reload. Um, my last save is, like I said, quick saves from an hour ago. Um, which is probably, <laughs> it's probably when I slept actually before or after I finished up the solar stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go in here. If it's not fixed, I'm gonna have to wrap this video up here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo all of this, I guess. Okay, so I can see the inside now. Okay, things loaded. We're good here. But we still don't have any lights. Oh, we're getting power. Okay, can we open or close this, please? No. Like, it wants to move, but it's not. You know what I mean? And we have power. We have more than enough power. It's just not being used. Hmm. Well, honestly, I think it's broken. I'm going to... I'm going to reload and redo it. Okie dokie, guys. Well, you know, I was going to wrap the episode there because I was kind of frustrated. But, you know, as I was running around, once I, I stopped the recording, and I did do my outro and everything, but... As I was running around, I realized, if you guys remember, when I was in the hangar, the door was partially opened. And then I had a thought. I was like, wait a second. If I'm opening my entire base to the atmosphere of Mars, I'm having a problem. Power shut down. I mean, I don't know why the power shut down, but obviously the atmosphere vented. So what I did is I rebuilt it. Um, obviously, I couldn't do anything about the bug where things weren't loading in, and I still did that. So I reloaded. I finished up my progress from where we were last time. And then the reason why it wasn't working, check this out. I added airlocks to come into the garage. So let's go through here. Beautiful. And it takes a bit to equalize the pressure going into the garage. At least it did the first time. But look, everything's working. We're good. Everything's in working order. We haven't lost atmosphere. Our power situation's good. Obviously, our... Uh, if I can look here, if you look at the bottom left, you can see our exterior O2 is now down because we added a lot of space, right? But now we can come into here and come out into the garage and check this out. I figured out how to work the door. I'm so excited. So what we can do is we hold this open here and you got to hold it. The lights do turn off in the garage, but as far as I know, I haven't checked this. Let's go in here into the base and make sure the lights are still working in here. Because if not, it might be a bug. Yeah, lights work perfectly fine in here. So it's when the doors open for the garage, it just uh, closes up. So I want to move the ATVs into there and the rover into there because we can fast charge. I remember that talent we got. I'm not going to fast charge right now, but I want to load these up. We have a lightning storm incoming apparently now. Um, how are we supposed to get an ATV in there? Does it work? Uh, the door needs to go down a little more, or maybe I can build some kind of a ramp. Oh no. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, 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 we did it. Okay, we, we're gonna get the ATVs in here, guys. Oh my gosh. Now I'm thinking we just parked the ATVs. Lightning hazard. I guess we'll back them in here, right next to the power, so we're not wasting too much, um, what you call it okay let's park the first one right here too much cord or cable wow these things are a little spicy we'll park the first one there and we'll go move the next one and then we're gonna pull the rover in here also i feel like that door should go lower down that's crazy um where's the old atb okay it's right here we're gonna move this one too oh i'm so happy that i was able to sort this out oh <laughs> we got a garage we can park our vehicles inside and hopefully they'll be safe. You know, what happens when the uh, garage explodes, though? It's quite a bit out, but we have a good distance between our solar panels, so I'm happy. You know, a lot of things have gone crazy this episode. Try to figure out the rocket launcher thing, uh, the garage issue bug thing, power things. Oh, man. Okay. Come on, let me in. Let me, let me get in here, please. Come on. You can do it, little rover or little ATV. Okay, good. So it's a little tough to get uh, get the ATVs in, but we can do it. Um, don't mind my driving skills. I'm not the best at these ATVs. Also, honestly, they're not the best. 
Okay, so we parked the second one. Let's go forward a bit, line it up. A little more right there. Perfect. Now, let's pull the rover into here. Um, and apparently we can do stuff with multiple trailers, so that seems interesting. And close that up and hop into the seat here. And I think we're going to need to back it up a bit. Are we going to have room to pull the whole thing with the trailer in? That's a thing. The trailer also doesn't like actuate properly, uh, rotate properly on that Warning. joint there. Lightning detected. Warning. Oh, perfect. Lightning. <laughs> I've never experienced a lightning storm before either, so... Uh, also, the storms obviously change when you reload. So I did reload and redid everything because I thought it was bugged. But um, apparently the storms changed because last time we had the solar storm and today we have lightning. This thing turns like a beetle. <laughs> it, it looks like a beetle too. Hey, can we pull the whole trailer and everything into here? Oh, God, I'm going too fast. Woo, spicy. All right, let's get out of here. See if we can close up the door with the trailer on it. Uh, oh yeah, 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 we have tons of room. So let's close this. So again, to close it, you gotta hold it. Bro, close. There we go. Boom. It's closed, we got power. Amazing. I absolutely am thrilled with how this turned out. Um, obviously we're in a wrong position here, so we need to move that. But guys, I mean, I'm happy now. I'm happy now. We've done it. I'm going to wrap this video up here for sure this time. If you guys like the video, please smash that like button. Next episode, we are adding bedrooms, bathrooms, more base work, um, and see what else we can get up to. I don't even know. It's kind of crazy. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Peace.